So we won't know the Ballon d'Or winner for this previous season until later this year. The nominees will be announced in September. So I want to take a look at three in particular, probably the three favourites with Craig Burley. And we're going to get a, a one, two, three as far as Craig's favourites are concerned. Erling Haaland, Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi. So I want to start with the Frenchman, Kylian Mbappe, who says he deserves to win the Ballon d'Or hat-trick in a World Cup final, loads of goals in League 1, and OK in the Champions League. Does he deserve to be the favourite for Craig Burley to win the Ballon d'Or? Can I just start this segment, Mark, by saying I have, I think I've been kidnapped to doing this Ballon d'Or segment. <laughs> and as we speak, the my, my ESPN colleagues have actually chained me onto this chair. <laughs> and if I try and leave before... I finish it, I'm going to get an electric shock. Uh, like a lot of people, I don't, I just, I don't know, some people really get into this, and I know a lot of the guys in FC, including Frank LeBeuf, the Frenchman, and I believe it's the French that sort of have driven this for, I don't know anything about it really, but it's very prestigious for some. Uh, I actually, as Kelly Mbappe said that, mm-hmm. I sincerely hope he does not win it just to see his big baby face. <laughs> because this guy is and has turned into an egotistical maniac at PSG. Right? And I get it. It's a circus. And Neymar hasn't helped. And he was upset with Messi as well about, you know, Messi was getting the all the headlines and I wasn't getting to play where I wanted and I didn't get the signings that I wanted and this is a project and now I want to leave and I've never said that. Imagine being so cocky to come out and say, I deserve to win the Ballon d'Or. Just- well, I deserve to be a contender was more of what he said, but he believes that his performances over the past season, he has done enough to win the Ballon d'Or, but he feels he should be a contender for the No, Ballon but I'll tell you what, he scored the hat-trick in the final, didn't he? Yep. Which is fine, but France has to fine. get to... Huh? It's <laughs> fine, it's all right. Well, yeah, but, but listen, one of the reasons France had to make changes, one of the reasons France were getting horsed, one of the reasons France got outplayed by England, and until Kane missed the penalty and it all went wrong at the end, France were outplayed. One of the reasons was because he stood up front. He stood up on the left-hand side and basically said to Didier Deschamps, I'm too good to defend. I, I, and, and I've spoken to Julian Laurent, our colleague, and Frank LeBeuf about this. Deschamps has had to accept that Mbappe's defensive duties are negligible at best. They're a trot, right? So I get it. I get it. He's super talented going forward. But part of a team ethic is getting your backside back and defending. And that's one of the reasons that they were behind in those games and they were struggling in those games. So I'm sorry. It's not just about your goals and your penalties. There are other facets to it. And his arrogance is becoming beyond belief. And so, yeah, he should be in the running for it. I don't deny that. But I, I certainly hope he doesn't win it because this guy needs a gigantic deflation of the head and come back to earth very, very soon. And once he does that, maybe we'll see an even better Kylian Mbappe. Not one that says, I don't have to defend. I'm Kylian Mbappe. I'm too good. I'm going to leave it to the rest. So hopefully he doesn't win it. What do you really think, Craig? Well, I think I think he's. I, I do think he has become an uncontrollable problem at times, and PSG have harnessed that, in all fairness, with their circus mentality. But I don't like at times, in amongst the genius and the great stuff that he does, I don't like his rhetoric and you know the way he sort of carries himself and 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 watching him on the field in the World Cup, just basically allowing fullbacks to run forward and saying, hi, I'm Killian. I don't have to defend. No, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that. So, so yeah, as you can tell at the moment, I'm not his biggest fan. 
I'm sure he couldn't give us stuff, but I hope he doesn't win it. Well, Lionel Messi's not known for his defensive duties, though. No, but he does a bit more than him. And he carries himself a bit better. And his head's not as big. And he's a bit more of a team player. And he's been a better player for over a decade than Kylian Mbappe. And he scores more goals at a higher level, level than Kylian Mbappe. And he beats more men on one-on-one dribbles than Kylian Mbappe. So, and he's won more Champions Leagues than Kylian Mbappe. And he's just won the World Cup. So, yeah, I, I, I'll give you that. Messi, Messi is Messi, but he isn't the big-time Charlie, Charlie Big Spuds that Kylian Mbappe is. But Messi's magic, and he's he's yeah. had a he's had a brilliant season, and he'll be in as one of the favourites. So that's not only upset Mbappe fans. If they're out there, I don't care. This is probably upset Ronaldo, Ronaldo fans this too. This is the yeah. Ronaldo fans. They're not oh, even yeah. involved in this. They're not even involved in this. They're upset. <laughs> they're writing comments below. They're right. Sack Burnley. Sack him. <laughs> yes. What about this guy? All he does is score. Erling Holland, should he win the Ballon d'Or? Well, I mean, well, should he win it? Or, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm a bit fed up with the Ronaldo Messi. And who was it? Was it Benzema won it last time? How the hell did Lewandowski not win it a couple mm. of years ago? Fair. That was a bit of a... That was another one when Lewandowski beat Gerd Müller's record and did all these things. And they went off down some tangent and stuff. That's when you just went, listen, just just sack this. Just sack it. But I think Messi's... The, argue, the, the answer is, I think Messi's going to win it because of the World Cup. Okay. And I don't... Uh, I don't begrudge that. But I am getting a bit fed up, Messi, Ronaldo. I know Ronaldo's off to Saudi Arabia and I was never going to win it from there. Uh, but I think Messi's going to win it this year. And look, he had a great World Cup. Of course he did. The support network that was put around him at Argentina was terrific. It was. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to detract from these players. It wasn't really full of superstars, but full of really, it was, the, you know, Di Maria did some great things. You know, Julian Alvarez came in and did great, but they all worked really hard for Messi. And not that, to be hypocritical, from the Mbappe side of things, but he still worked hard. Messi still worked hard, but really the balance in that Argentinian side was perfect for him in the end, just to go and showcase his talents. And I think the World Cup is going to... I think had they not won the World Cup, we're probably looking at the, uh, looking at Ellen Hallam winning this because of the Premier League, Champions League and the goals. But I think the World Cup is just going to supersede Ellen Hallam here for this for this particular award. So hopefully in this order, if you care, I don't. Messi, Haaland and the big baby thump. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.